Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the additional feature in my blogger. So in order to see that feature, let's go ahead and access the blogger. You have to just type dronatechnoworld.blogspot.com and hit enter. It will take us to a screen where the latest article will be displayed. In this case, it is showing the MDM quiz, but we don't have to worry which which article it is showing here. What what we are going to say is we are going to say the one of the additional topic which I added recently that is nothing but MDM quiz. So this MDM quiz contains uh, right now so far three quizzes, but going forward I will add more and more quizzes. So that you that will be going to help you for preparation of interview as well as for the MDM certification. So this tweet, uh, these quiz will uh, quizzes actually will be more helpful for your day-to-day -day activities as well as for certification and definitely for your interview. So you have to just come to this website and click on this MDM quiz. So what this MDM quiz will show? It will show us all the quizzes which are present inside this the other additional alternative is you can go to my 2018 archival and go to the august and you will see the very first is quiz first and then quiz 2 quiz 3 and you will see the additional quizzes but the best way is going to best way is nothing but the clicking this topic so if you click this like mdm sif so sif related topic it will show if you click the MDM quiz, then all the quizzes are available inside this section. Now, what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and open our first quiz. You can scroll down or you can just open it. So I'm just clicking this quiz. So what this quiz is doing, um, it has very interesting questions. For example, the very first question is, which of these choices are associated with base object properties? And there are some choices are given or options are given. Option A is complete tokenization ratio. Option B is reQ on parent merge. Option C generate match token on load. Option D allow null update. And option E allow consent to be disabled. Now assume that before this, before going for this quiz, we have to make sure we have done with our study about informatic MDM. Then and then you can go ahead here and use this quiz uh, for example I, I'm done with my uh, study and I want to use uh, I want to face this quiz so you can just come here choose what are the options applicable and if you don't know the answer then just leave that and try out so I'm just randomly selecting option without knowing anything so uh, just uh, you don't try it means I would recommend you to uh, read your MDM uh, study uh, MDM documentation and I hope you should do some practice on MDM hub as well and then so come here and select the appropriate option and click submit as soon as it you click submit it will show us what are the questions uh, for which answer you gave is not correct and what are the answers you gave are correct so you can come here and just your modify answer or you can select uh, what are the uh, what are the things you want to select and just resubmit so as soon as you click submit if the answer is correct then it will show otherwise right now you can see the first answer is correct similarly you can try multiple times or it is allowed to do that operation multiple times that is one thing um, but before studying, don't come here and just do for uh, fun. I would recommend go through your study document and then come here so that you'll get more correct uh, answers and it will build your confidence also before going for your MDM certification. What else we have? So in this quiz section, suppose you are done with first quiz, then you can go to the next quiz by, by clicking this next quiz icon or the link. Just click here. It will take us to the quiz number two similarly you can select options if you don't select option and just come here and submit the quiz it will 
show the all the answers are incorrect because you have not selected the correct answer so make sure select your answer and answers are correct then appropriate message will be displayed similarly you can go to the next quiz so second quiz onward you will you have the next quiz as well as the previous quiz option in case if you want to go to your previous quiz and try uh, one more time so this is the way you can uh, access the third quiz also and for the previous quiz you can just click here what else what else you can do on this quizzes so if you have noticed here uh, along with this quiz question I have also included the uh, the interview questions video so you can just play this here or you can just Hello. go to their YouTube uh, YouTube section and this is you YouTube section and you can watch here as well so so this contains uh, several um, interview questions for your interview preparation the quiz which we have designed right now it is for your mostly for the certification so I'll be adding multiple quizzes in upcoming sessions so uh, keep watching this space and uh, if you have any questions or do if you have any opinion right now I just for each quiz I'm adding just question uh, five questions because I, I try to add the 10 or 20 questions but the one the article itself become more lengthy that's the reason I reduced to the five question but if you feel you're you're comfortable with the more questions just let me know I will add the multiple like 10 or 20 questions in each article it's it's a for more user friendly purpose I just added the five questions if you're looking for the scenario based questions and it's related answer I'll be more than happy to add those also so uh, please provide me your feedback so there are two ways you can provide me feedback the very first way is you can just come to this uh, comment section and write your comment and just publish it so you can uh, you can uh, comment as the your name or you can have your own profile or you can use your guest profile also um, if you want any notification suppose I, I would recommend to check box this notification notify me option the reason is whenever you post your questions I will reply to that question as soon as possible and when I reply you will get the notification uh, about the answer to your queries so that is one way the other way is, uh, is you you can go to my youtube channel and you can post the question there also and I have another option that nothing but this is my email id you can send email to this id also if you want I would recommend to post on this comments on this articles it is quicker way because I get the notification on my multiple email addresses and it's very difficult to manage but if you post these questions on this channel itself I can easily and quickly respond to those so um, if you any uh, if you're looking for into questions for hierarchy management or for IDD provisioning tool active host, just let me know I will create the separate quiz for each of those and I would recommend a uh, Please refer my this uh, blog. Uh, I need your valuable comments, and I hope uh, you are enjoying these articles also. If you are looking for any particular topic which you need the thorough understanding, and if you need some diagrams and you want me to explain each and everything, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to create such material for everyone. Um, and under a couple of things also I have made some uh, ma downloadable material for example if we haven't gone through my MDM related articles so here there are a couple of articles I have created and one of the article is nothing but the uh, informatica MDM testing so all the templates I have uh, made available so you have to just come here and download this template I would recommend strongly download this template the reason is um, these are free templates and you have to just click download and it will download for you guys and this is going to definitely help you for your day-to-day uh, -day activities even I have downloaded just the uh, the template which are related for the M informatic MDM testing you can just modify and prepare for your uh, the design document also for example um, 
uh, here a couple of documents are related to the base object dictionary which is again the design document for MDM the transformation is from landing to staging it's again a design document so you can use those template for your design document as well uh, if you're looking for any other documentation of course informatica provide the basic understanding document on their website you can download from there also but if it is not accessible just let me know i'll be more than happy to provide those too and um, i hope you're having good time um, thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you watching uh, thank you for watching and giving valuable feedback on my efforts and those who are giving me compliments i really really appreciate those uh, the reason is those are the major thing which motivates me to keep these things uh, to, to keep uh, my videos up to date and also keep my blogger blogs up to date thank you thank you again have a nice time